Do you always investigate everybody you don't trust? Well, this is a little different, honey. Everybody isn't trying to pry my family apart. She isn't. What the hell she isn't? I can't believe you included Sean in this. He... he did it as a favor to me. Does that favor include lying to me? That's... that's not the point here, Felicia. That file justifies everything that I did. Oh, how do you figure that? The payments into her bank account. What about them? They're all from older married men. So what? What do you mean, so what? Come on, it's obvious. Is it? Yes, do you need me to spell it out for you? Yes, please, spell it. Fine. Rita Lloyd is a high-class hooker, just what I thought she was. That's funny to you. It's funny that she's with my brother, she was hanging out with our daughter. I think you have a pretty warped sense of humor. She's not a hooker. You have the proof in your hands. No, I don't. Well, how do you explain the bank deposits? They're for her animal shelter. Her what? She has an animal shelter for abandoned and abused animals. She's had it since her father died. She told me all about it. <laughs> right, Felicia, you might buy that, but I'm having a little trouble choking that one down. All those payments were made by older, married... Generous, concerned businessmen from San Francisco. She told me about those men, too. She did? Yeah, she did. She's going to send me some information about the project. Personally, I think it's a very nice thing. I wasn't, uh... Are you embarrassed? I would be if I were you. I'm gonna go upstairs and check on Max. You might wanna go over these facts. Sure. What are you doing here? I was waiting for you. I, I thought that you'd be coming this way. Get out of my way. Please. No, I mean it. You either stop harassing me or I'll call the police. Well, that's an interesting idea. Considering where you were all day. Isn't it amazing how everybody wants to find a Jerome, any Jerome? That's what Scorpio have to say. You seem to have all the answers. Why don't you tell me? I'm sure he asked you a lot of questions, some of which must have been pretty painful considering your history. That's just what it is. History. How long are you going to punish me? Until I'm sure you've learned your lesson. I've learned my lesson. Do you promise that you'll never, ever, ever do it again? Never. Promise? Swear. That's what you said about the WSB. Joining the police department. The investigation with Okay, Decker. okay, okay. I get your point. If I fall off the bed, you're dead. I'm just trying to apologize. You're making it a little tough. I'm not the one you're supposed to apologize to. What do I have to say anything to Rita for? She doesn't know anything. What if she finds out? Well, she shouldn't find out. But what if she does? Then I'll just take my medicine like a man. And you'll admit to everything? Mm-hmm. That you were stupid? It's putting it a little harshly. That you were suspicious? Mm. Yes. That you jumped blindly to conclusions? I didn't jump blindly. Yes. That you lied? I didn't... Yes. That you were a sneaker and you snuck behind everybody's back. Sneak? You're calling me sneak? I snuck a little. Mistrusted Tony? I was worried. Yes. That you coerced our very best friend into not only helping you, but to lying to your wife. I'll apologize to Sean. Do you think that'll do any good? I don't know. So what exactly have we learned here today? No more sneaking. Good. And if I ever 
do decide to sneak to make you sure that you don't get so snitty. You forgive me? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Mrs. Quartermain, but uh, Mr. Broxton should be back any minute now. Oh, I'm sure he'll want to meet with you. Oh, I'm sure. Well, um, I'll just wait. Uh, could I have some coffee, perhaps? Uh, of course. Oh, uh, excuse me. Could you make that naturally decaffeinated tea, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Nice to see you, too, Mr. Broxton. What a coincidence this is. I was going to call you. Really, were you? Uh, what about? Well, to see if you might be interested in retaining my services. Oh, well, I don't see why, Mr. Broxton. You know, we Quartermains, we have all the lawyers we can possibly use, and then some. Then why are you here? Uh, well, I just thought it might be you nice to You don't need to tell me. See, I know. It's the diamonds, isn't it? You're worried about some long-lost Jerome popping up to claim them, aren't you? Oh, of course not. That's so silly. I mean, I am richer than my wildest dreams, so why would I need all those... Ninety perfect diamonds? Why, they're the stuff that dreams are made of. I can't blame you worrying. I'm wondering if you'll ever actually get them. It'd be a pity, too. Because you came so close to only have someone sneak up and snatch away your dreams. I'd hate to see that happen. Uh, well, um, yes. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem that I have any control over that. You know, if, if there is a Jerome heir. Well, as the attorney for the Jerome estate, uh, I should know where all the bones are buried, so to speak. So if there were an heir, I'd be the guy who'd know about him. About him? Him? Or her, as the case may be. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, um, so, is there an heir? That's for me to know, and you to pay for. And, of course, the uh, higher the payment, even if one does exist, the less likely he is to be found. Uh, Mr. Broxton, I believe that sounds like blackmail. No, no, it's extortion, actually. If I were coercing some money out of you illegally, which I'm not, I'm simply making you a, a, a business proposition. Oh, I see, a business. Okay. Let's see, what are your terms? Now, they can be worked out later. I'd just be interested if you're interested. <laughs> I think you know I'm interested. Good. I'll call you then. <laughs> Good. I'll be waiting. Good day, Mr. Roxton. Good day, Miss Quartermain. Roxton, hi. Bobby, what brings you down here? Well, one of my prospective parents has a record, so I came down hoping I could get a copy. Well, give us the number and I'll see what I can do. Oh, no, that's all right. That's right. I don't want to bother you about it. I'll put in a request through the agency. Well, anything I can help you with, just to let me know. Thanks. Did you, uh, by any chance, see, uh, Shep's broadcast? Oh, I try never to miss it. <laughs> Did those diamonds really belong to Victor Jerome? That's not been proven yet. Is that what that lawyer... Broxton? Uh, yeah, Broxton. Is that what Broxton was here for? Well, so far he's... he's given us nothing. Mm. I was hoping he could at least identify the number, but... Uh, number? What number? The one inside the diamond pouch. You, you might as well look at it, too. C12104S. Yeah. My feelings are that this is the key to everything. Anyway, tomorrow we'll see. In 24 hours, it's going to be all over for everyone.
You'll see.